Okay, good morning. Inside this container, as you can see by my daughter's fantastic marking, is some stick insects. Well, it's not actually stick insects. It's eggs or babies inside, caution. So every day, we open this up, we check it, and as you can see, there's the eggs in there. So there's 10 eggs in here. So every day we open it up, we put the water in here. And yesterday, we checked it and there was some babies in here, as you can see, like there's their end of the shell that's come off. So you can't tell which shells are open and which ones are not, so I've kept them all in here. But yes, I had babies yesterday, so I've transferred them over into this container and you can see them here. Now, it's a bit hard to see, but they are actually quite small. But in the same time, they're quite big compared to the egg they come out, so. I'm going to um, just lay this down. So I've just put them in this Tupperware container for now. I've pulled the band out so it's got some air still. Although I don't think they can breathe all the air out of this that quickly, as you can see. Like, here's one of the little guys here. I'll show you to my finger. They're not very big, see? But they are friendly. See, as you can see on the end of my finger, it's only tiny. But they'll grow, they'll, in the next, within the next two weeks, it will shed its skin. And then it will actually look like a, a spiny leaf stick insect. I think that's what they, the, um, is called. So we'll, um, Keep you updated on these guys. So they eat eucalyptus leaves, so I've put some leaves in there, but they haven't been eating yet, so I'm hoping that um So it doesn't look like a scorpion or something. So in the wild normally their eggs have a little sweet knob on the end of them. And so when they're laid on the ground, the these um red head sugar those red head bull ants look very similar to these guys and will take the egg into their nest because of the sweet sugar bit on it and they eat the sugar and they discard the egg. So when they do that, the egg is protected in the nest from predators or anything else. Where are you going? I need to put, put a blockage here for a second. I was going to bug up my armpit. Um, yeah, so they put an egg, they protect the egg inadvertently by putting it in their nest. So when the larvae hatch, they come out and they look so much like an ant, except for the long tail. And then they quickly scurry out the nest, scurry up a tree, and then that's where they stay. So these eggs are probably all female because I don't believe that the female that we got them from had been fertilized by a male. And so, even if they don't have a male, they can still lay eggs, but they'll be clones of the female, and they'll all be female. So anyway, yes, we shall keep you updated. All right, cheerio for now.